Hey guys, it's Techno Geek Review 3 and I want to do a video getting a whole bullet go yo. Let's talk about the news. You know that long rant stand comedy that I made yesterday. Let's see what I saw on the most trending news today. And let's see what was Washington Post saying about Trump today? Oh yeah, Trump promoting violence. Let's see. Ooh. Let's actually see how much he's actually promoting violence with his actual tweet that he made. Now, it can't be the news has like said bullshit before. No, 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 no. Trump is in the wrong. Let's see his tweet, yo. Let's see. Get, get your pants ready. Get, get your balls, your vagina ready. Carbon matter pussy. Kidding. Kidding. Don't let you do that. Get you arrested. Unless you're a celebrity. Or good looking. Really good looking. Okay, no. No, that's wrong. Let's see what Trump actually said. The CNN news that's. Let's see. Violent. Violence. Pony violence. And let's see what they've said about Trump's pose. <laughs> that's just me. Yeah, that's promoting violence. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Trump tweeting out that CNN news is fake news, which they are, which they are. I'll show you a picture in this video showing how fake news they are, how they're pro anyone who's on Trump's side getting beat and as I've stated multiple times in many other videos I don't really side either side I just don't like how me as being a one way street about everything and ignoring any flaws that the left side has done Trump, like I told you guys he says stupid shit and he said you know, I saw a YouTuber describe Trump in a nutshell very well in a recent video he says, but we're all too scared to say. I, in fact, I, I described it perfectly in the last video I did before this video. Trump is like a stand up comedian. No, I, I think I said that on a Facebook post. He's like a stand up comedian. He says, but we're all too scared to say, except for he's a president of the United States of America. Which is going to be 4th of July in two days. I'm Canadian. You guys don't know. It's, it's not my own. I'm so strong because I'm Canadian. No, no. Strong by your experience. They're saying he's promoting violence with a tweet calling him out on being fake news. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't take that serious. If I, he's doing what like Hulk Hogan did to um. What's Gawker? And now we're at the part where everybody loves seeing Carmen. I'm gonna be my most asshole this part. CNN News, you're fucking hypocrites. That's why I'm CNN, Washington Post, and Sorry from Fox News. Sorry. Most of these news sources do the same shit, except for bigger TV news is a little more credible than Gawker. And I, from what I've heard from the documentary of Gawker, they're like the TMZ for po like popes. They're just gossip. Right, let's see how. Yeah, that's Trump promoting violence by calling them what they are. Let's see how Trump supporters get treated. Huh? 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 Let's see. Let's see the res amount of respect they get from the community they would. They're from. That. That's why I ranted about. I tried to defend them. I'm, I. I guess I'm slowly becoming my own activist, which means I could become a really bad person or a good person. I'm trying to be a good person. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm just doing it for clicks. I'm just as bad as all the news things. But what he said there, and then how the news is reacting, I had to speak my word. Let's see what 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 happened to Trump supporters. They're calling Trump is promoting violence. Let's see what happens to them. And they they call Trump the monster. But let's let's see. That's the shit I see happen to Trump supporters every day. I, I can, not every day, it's an exact exaggeration. On Twitter, I see ridiculous tweets about celebrities being like, oh, Trump won Trump supporters and making me feel like Nazi Germany. But that shit, that shit right there fucking happens to Trump supporters. Trump gets vilified by the media. And that's the bullshit. And they're saying he's promoting violence. They're calling them out. They're fucking bullshit. They're fake news. They're fucking assholes. And they're causing people getting hurt. And hit violently. In the US. But when Trump calls them on their bullshit, they're gonna be like, Trump is promoting violence, and they're clearly, he's right in this art. If they weren't fake news, they would have non-biased either political point of view, and wouldn't it be pro-Trump pro supporters, or Trump getting hit, or attacked, or sent for, you don't, just because you don't like a person, or agree with their political ideology, or their perspective in life does not mean they deserve to get hit, hurt, murdered, or bleed into a pulp. Not bleed, beat into a pulp. And that's the whole point I'm making of this video. And I'm tired, I'm not gonna do any crazy action. I'm too. I'm a lazy fuck. I'm too. And. lazy, sometimes hardworking. We all have that contradiction. I'm not gonna be pro, pro pro provoking violence. Violence will not resolve any of the conflict. We gotta handle this like Martin Luther King. Take the bullshit, take it, and hold your ground on your rights, point of view, and your ideology, with who you side. The moment you resort to violence on either political angle, you're no longer the victim. And I'm not saying that these people, these people, are not the abuse. And I understand that there are, have been a few videos where Trump supporters do act crazy now and then and get angry too. But do you see any? critical analysis on Hillary Clinton or Bernie besides people on YouTube? No. The only time you see pro-Trump is on YouTube, but pe even Trump supporters are still be able to be critical of him and the choices he makes. Was it reckless for him to make that tweet? Yes. Was it pro-violence? Fuck no. The dude's calling them on their bullshit. And with the facts I just showed you, CNN News is blatant hypocrites and they're laughing at people getting hit in their fucking assholes. The rich, cauliflowered, fucking twats of primal shit, born into richness, 1%, and they're probably hiding some fucking fucked up truth they want to fucking face. So they're trying to distract us, make us not get along, and vilify one side while being pro one side. And because they lost, they can't fucking handle it. They're just gonna let them bast in until a whole group of people get eventually hurt, murdered, or killed. And that's what's gonna happen. They're they're saying Trump was promoting violence. Uh, oh, I have. They're saying Trump is promoting violence, but they can't seem to recollect, recollect their past actions. They're fucking assholes. You know what? 
I hope, not Trump, I hope at some point some celeb does what Hulk Hogan did to Cocker to them, but I hope it's not, you don't resolve the violence to fix how these news sources are doing. It, this, that will not make things better. I repeat, resolving to violence will not, will not fix the situation. We have to handle it peacefully. And if people will attack you for supporting Trump, you gotta handle it, take it, and walk away. Well, I'm, this video is a lot longer than I wanted to make it, and a lot more editing, and I probably made some people sad. And I don't usually, besides my stand up comedy videos, I don't usually make political videos. But I've seen too much videos of this. News sources flat out lying to us and trying to vilify anyone who disagrees with them, doing corrupt shit, and costing people their lives and getting hit a lot. While the people doing the violence are calling themselves victims, this is not a call to action. Maybe Trump supporters, we need to tr support, they need to support Trump in a sad way because I pray for y'all. He's not promoting violence. If he's promoting a violence in that tweet, he'd be, I don't know, showing us a picture with, let's see. Someone's head chopped off? Did he do that? No. He was calling on a news source on their bullshit. Well, uh, I've gotten angry a little bit on YouTube. Touched a very touchy topic. and been an asshole for 10 minutes. Which is much longer than I ever planned. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry to press home. But I, I had to see it on my news feed. I want to fucking handle that. This may or may not be the last time I handle that topic, and after this, I have, that. I will start going back to making movie and TV shows. I'm just getting a little tired and frustrated. One side getting painted as a villain, and there's no resolve to it because either side we point each other as a villain. We we all we're all just we're, we're people. You have to accept one another. We have flaws. We do stupid shit. My shit sometimes. And come together as a people and not be divided on skin, race, or sexuality. And we can't claim victimhood or strength or our abusers or we're anything. We're, pe we're people and we're a person. And we have to be strong. We don't have to endure, accept, and not let the media dictate how we think things. And when we see articles like that, actually see what the person did that was wrong, and analyze, and choose for ourselves, and let these fucking rich people with suits decide our opinions and vilify anyone that disagrees with them. Media says they want us unified, but everything they fucking do is to make us not get along. They're fucking assholes. As Mary McFly would say. And that's all, folks.